Welcome back to Sip the Tyler Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk about the latest wide receiver signing for the Baltimore Ravens, Nelson Aguilar. <laughs> now, there's a video circulating uh, from the time when he was in Philly about, and this will never not be funny to me, about a building being on fire. And, in fact, I'm going to just play it. Oh, my man just started throwing babies out the window. But we was catching them, unlike Aguilar. All jokes aside, Nelson Aguilar caught 31 balls for 362 yards last year with the New England Patriots. And when you kind of stack that up with the Baltimore receivers, um, Duvernay had 37 catches for 407. Mark had 71 for 847. D-Rob had 48 for 458. And Isaiah Likely had 36 for 373. All of those guys had better statistical seasons than Nelson Aguilar. But let's get into the film. We're going to take a look at his best game this year, well, from last year, versus Pittsburgh, and kind of see what he did or what he does that may help the Ravens out. All right, let's get into the film. But before we do that, like the video if you really like what you see throughout this video subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified so you can be here when the rest of the raven contents drop for not only this off season but the rest of the 2023 season but as far as nelson aguilar next nelson aguilar goes let's dive into this film now in this play you'll see the concept on the, on the screen right now they're gonna run it's not a dagger. You can get some end cuts, and really, uh, Pittsburgh is going to be in a cover three, and Nelson just has to sit sit down in the zone and find a soft spot, and that's him highlighted right there. And you'll see the the slot guy kind of walk over him and give him his window. Now with them dropping, you know, to protect the sticks, so to speak, he just finds a little soft spot, catches it, and pretty much gets the first down. Ends up being one yard short. But just find a soft spot in the zone. That's, you know, something I've seen in a, in a couple of plays and whatnot. So, you know, that could be helpful depending on who's throwing throwing him the ball next year. So in the second play. Got him on the nub side. And the thing about this is he's going to help with the protection. And now with him on the shallow crosser, he's lined up with a linebacker. Now, Nelson used to could run. I'm assuming he still can. But him versus a linebacker, he should win. And um, he just beats the guy across the formation and, you know, turns it up and, you know, pretty much gets almost the first down. No, he gets the first down. He gets the first down. But anytime you can get him on a mismatch with linebackers, he should be able to win those. And whether it be in the slot or on from outside, let's go to play three. And this one is just win versus man coverage. Right there in the middle of the screen. And he just, just beat 29. Nothing simple, nothing, you know, extravagant about it, just simple. 29 gave him a free release. Kind of, he, technically he used the, the, the middle linebacker, making it look like he's going to go across. So 29 gets real tight to him. Then he sticks his foot in the ground right behind him and separates right there. Mac does a good job of, you know, getting him a good ball, makes the catch, and takes the lick from Inca. So, you know, working that area of the field is kind of, you know, in the past where the Ravens like to throw the ball a lot in this, that area, like on that deep over the mark. So, you know, that should be helpful to whoever's throwing him the ball next year. And I hate to beat a dead horse, but we just don't know who's throwing the ball. Sorry. And then lastly, being able to go up and make plays, which is something that we didn't have a lot of last year. Um, this is one of the plays he made out of um, his 31 catches. He had over 100-something yards this game. He got one-on-one -on -one with the corner, and he just goes up and makes the play. I mean, <laughs> playmaking is playmaking. You got one-on-one -on -one in the NFL. You get one-on-one, -on -one, you got to win. You got to win. He's, he's definitely covered. He's definitely covered. Mac just trusted him. He went up, made a play. Guy fell and ended up with a touchdown. So how much of this he can bring to the Baltimore Ravens, I don't know. I would hope that this is the beginning of the revamping of the wide receiver room. 
I can't say it is because just looking at his numbers based off the guys we had, he would have been fifth in, in production if you put his numbers on the Ravens. And we ain't get a lot of production out the wide receiver room. So he'd be fifth in catches if you put his numbers <laughs> on the Ravens last year. So, um, again, if you like the content, please hit the like button. Subscri consider subscribing and um, hit the bell so you can be notified once this season finally starts to find some kind of normalcy with all this craziness that's going on. Uh, don't forget, starting Monday, Ravens Daily with myself, uh, call the call-in show. We'll have uh, one to two topics a day. It's from 4.30 to 5, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, starting this Monday. So I appreciate it if you come through, call, watch, like, share, all that good stuff. And um, I'm looking forward to it. I know it's going to start off slow, but we're going to you know stick with it and keep it going. And hopefully it'll grow to a point where we can go four days and maybe during the season even go five. So I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me on a, what's this, Saturday morning? See y'all later. Peace.